Welcome to Fate Sunday Adventure. I'm Kaskari, your bearer of positivity, and today we are going to start off spooky season right with a great spooky game, uh, Dark Picture Anthologies, The Man of Medan, and it wouldn't be a growl louder adventures if we weren't adventuring while we're doing this, would it? So today we are going to do a little bit of metal detecting and talk about this great horror game that I've been playing and have a good time. Good Saturday, well it'll be your Sunday because we're going to air this tomorrow. Uh, last minute procrastination because I had some ideas and those turned into other ideas that turned into things and those turned into other things and here we are. So uh, we're going to be using the knock the legend with the six inch coil uh this first pass through my garden here we are going to be uh looking specifically just for like silver old coins and after that we are going to watch winnie bears destroy the place while we uh till this garden up and we're gonna start over she has a thing for walnuts whenever she finds a walnut she's like in heaven so anyways let's get on to this and let's see what we can find uh, before we go through. So let's talk about Man of Medan. It's the first in the series of dark picture anthology games. I'm gonna just dig up in there and we're gonna we'll put this off to the side for a minute. We're gonna have Winnie Bears traffic through this entire thing here. She, she loves this stuff, so she's gonna be ripping it up. So uh, I thought maybe at first I wasn't gonna like it because I'm Story games are really hit or miss for me, but uh, this story game was just popping off. All right, so let's go over here. Uh, we were playing around in here. Let's see what we can drag out of here. There's a lot of noise. I don't know if it's from this fence or not. Right there. All right, so back to Man and Menon. So I started this game off and it started off kind of slow. I wasn't sure if I was really gonna like it or not. Um, started playing it, started falling in love with it. The game itself isn't too complicated. Um, you get a series of characters who have different personalities. There's glass in there. Let's get that out of there. I find all kinds of junk in here. Woo. I'll give you guys a better angle of this. This is going to be a trial and error thing here. Because, uh, where is it? So I'm guessing we're gonna, oh no, there it is. That's whatever it was. Where did I lose? Oh, there it is. Big nail. Big nail to start off. Anything else hiding in here? There's something else right here. And right on the top here. Well, that's gonna be that. There's something in here. Probably another nail. Yeah, it's some kind of like uh, old nail. More? Something else in there. Oh, there it is. Another old something or other. Lots of those old something or others around here. More? Sure. We'll just get all this stuff out of here apparently. We're gonna just find piles of nails. It's like all over in here. What is going on? It's all this stuff. What's this? That's something. Big old chunk of metal or something. I'm just finding all kinds of stuff in here. Nothing good, but stuff. I 
That's some scrap tin. All right, let's close this one up. So the game itself, it starts out two guys going on shore leave in the military, going out having a good time, getting drunk. Winnie, really? And they realize it's running late, so they get back to the boat. The boat's loading up some funky stuff. So they get back to the shore. Uh, they get into an argument. One of them punches the other. And gets sent to the brig. Oh, this one's ringing good. Oops, we don't want to do that. Alright, so we're going to dig right... Where is that now? Alright, right where that white spot is, we'll dig. <clears throat> so back to our story. The story then fast forwards to uh, two brothers that are getting ready to get on a boat. And they're going to uh, go out scuba diving for a wreck they found. What is this? Oh, we got a root in here. And they're going out to find a spot for a unreported wreck that they seem to have found. Ooh, what do we got? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but... Uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Jesus, this all comes roots in here. This was a 37. Seems it's in my hand, but I don't see it yet. Oh shit, it's reading my ring. That's silly. All right, so we're still up in here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Some fence wiring. Oh, that was a net. When he's gonna help us out. I think we got it out of there. Oh, well, maybe not. What's this? Holy hell. Yeah, man, I've been finding all kinds of this big old stuff in here. Cleaning up my garden. If nothing else. Well, that's what we rang up. So that 37 was a big old pile of aluminum something or other. Go, Winnie, go. Go, Winnie, go. Go, Winnie, go. Oh, something here, right here. If I was a betting man, that's gonna be some aluminum, something or other. All right, so these guys, they go do their dive. They find the ship. It's rigged up a bomber. Instead of having bombs on the racks, it has uh, lifeboats. And they come up, and some sea pirates have come and started some drama over on the boat and left so they all talk about the wreck and they turn in for the night the sea pirates come back in the middle of the night to get them and they take control of the boat well as they're 
trying to find out what these people are doing on this boat trying to get money out of them they find the map that they found that says manchurian gold on it so of course you know pirates love gold so they want to find out what's going on with this manchurian gold where's this thing So they go to these coordinates and they end up coming up on a big military freighter. There it is. Little nail. Finally. All that for a little nail. Alright, so while Winnie and I are getting through the rest of this garden and preparing for the metal detecting wrap up, let's talk about the game itself. The game is story driven with multiple endings to cast lives or dies based on the choices you make. While the movement and camera angles can be a bit wonky at times, this game is time well spent. There are plenty of jump scare moments, tons of playability, and a story that makes you want to play it more. There are tons of achievements based on the various endings, how you develop each character's personality, some collectibles, and even whether you play alone or share the story with friends. Now Winnie and I are out to present the findings for today. Have a moment with the game's curator. Yes, it even has a curator and some footage from the game. One final note before I leave you to this adventure for a moment. This game was completely free with PlayStation Plus, so there's no reason for you not to enjoy this game during spooky season. See you at the wrap up and curator, take it away. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish, both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. This whole place is a floating death trap. Hey, hey. <gasps> Oh, 
did not sign up for a trip to Creek Town. Are these guys gonna do with us now? Son, you're in port, you see. Okay, all of you, into the room. Hey, it's pitch black in here. Give us the light. What the hell is this fucking place? It has to have something to do with the Manchurian gold. We're not far from those coordinates. Maybe this is the ship that was carrying the gold. Guess it's a possibility. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Let's get back to our boat, get the hell away from here, and never step foot off dry land again. How's that for a plan? I saw one of the goons take something out of the boat. Distributor cap makes the engine work. The Duke of Milan is a floating brick without it. We need to get it back. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. So, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kind of accepted. Cool. Cool. This is very strange. What do you think this ship was? This guy, Miller? That seems pretty spooked. Alex, I'm really scared. Je vais aller explorer la salle des machines. 
ta vie. Tu fous les autres. Les autres Mais c'est à qui Hey I found this letter that was never sent. Okay. Well, it said there were rumors about figures roaming around the cargo. Figures? You want to be more specific? Look, I'm not really sure what he meant. All I know is that I just get this really creepy feeling like something terrible happened here. Something is wrong. I don't like it. I don't like a single thing about this place. Not at all. I found this note. It was back in the bunk room. So it says that this guy, Patterson, kept playing sick, getting out of guard duty when he was supposed to be in the hold. Hmm. I guess he did it like a bunch of times. Anyways, it, it doesn't seem like anyone liked it too much down there. So what I'm gathering is the crew, and they were pretty creeped out by whatever the hell they were carrying on this ship. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. <laughs> well, I hope they're planning on finishing me off. Huh? It's not like I have anything to go back to. The Duke, it was everything I had. Even if we get out of this, my life is over. When? What? When we get out of this, we will figure out what to do about your boat. I don't know how you can stay so positive, but I'm glad you do. So, what do we do? Look, we need to either find a way out of this room, or we need to be ready to make a move when those fishermen come back. Okay, well, we're not going to do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. Just be careful. Hey, look, look at this. One, fuck. I wonder why they all left it behind. Stripped. Not gonna work that way. What do you think? I can't get it open. Over here. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Yeah, this is the way out. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait. Maybe we should try barricading the door instead. Can I get some help with this? Oh, 
this. You go, I got this. Safe now? Oh, Let me keep going. Come on. There's gotta be some stairs around here. Jeez, maybe this is what's scary. Weird that they all just vanished. It's like they were just snapped up right in the middle of whatever they were doing. It's not possible, right? Right. You think Conrad's made it? He can be pretty resourceful when he puts his mind to it. That's not really an answer. Well, then, sure. I think Conrad's made it. Oh, great. You hear that? Yep. Something moving around down there. What? Like what? I'm not sure I want to find out. What is this place? It's the engine room. Well, is there anything we can use down here? No, this is just an old piece of junk. The Duke has a newer engine. We're just gonna have to get the gap back. I wonder where everyone went. Maybe everyone's hiding in the hold for a big surprise party.
Dear, oh dear, you appear to have lost another one already. Some people should take greater care over the decisions that they make. Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? <laughs> okay, then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads... All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Probably shouldn't have said that. As our adventure is coming to an end, it's important to have this all-important wrap-up. So, while you got to check out an awesome game, we also got to check out some stuff in my yard. Um, the problem with having a yard that's not been metal detected before is it's never been metal detected before. So a lot of times you're going to be cleaning up trash before you get the treasure. So here's what we found actually before we've even tilled. The garden so we got this huge bunch um, I've been finding lots of this so some kind of like a tin or aluminum foilish kind of barrier of some sort um, some little lead and other kinds of melted metal chunks maybe some melted aluminum some uh, siding pieces uh, part of a beaver tail a pull tab a piece of a fence someone whacked off and just left it there whole piles of nails including some older ones some more current ones some kind of weird uh, metal piece. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to look it up and see what it is. Some glass and uh, this looks like some older pottery shards. And again some more fence clipping type stuff. So I hope you all enjoyed this adventure. Um, I'm not sure what we're doing next week for the adventure but like I said it is spooky season so we're going to focus on spooky stuff. That all said until the next one. Be inspired, be inspiring, make sure you live your life as an adventure and growl louder folks. Peace.